Well, good afternoon. It's another steamy July day throughout the Carolina. Charlotte has yet again touched 90 degrees. That now makes 14 straight days at or above 90 degrees. In case you're wondering, the all-time record, we're more than double or less than halfway there, I should say, 33 days set back in 1993. Uh, we've made 14 straight 90-degree uh, days over three dozen times. Again, lower 90s in and around the metro. We do have some scattered thunder showers, but the bulk of the action today has been I-40 North. There will be some pop-ups in the metro, but it may take a little while before these get going. Here's our future cast taking you into the evening. And again, you see storm motion southwest to northeast, and most of the action stays north of town. It may be late into the night before many areas actually see some scattered storms. This is going to be one of those nights where those storms may stick around a little bit longer than usual. As far as tomorrow morning goes, we've got lower 70s early on. As we go through the day, expect another very quick warm-up. This is, again, looking at that heat index, already in the mid-90s by lunchtime. And once again, many neighborhoods will touch 100 as we go through the afternoon. Again, fuel for the fire as far as thunderstorms go. Probably not as many as we're seeing during the day today. There you see the storms uh, moving into the metro late afternoon, early evening. And then they'll start to push on to the east as we go through the late night, Friday night, setting us up for what I think will be a pretty decent weekend. As far as tomorrow goes, Early heat and humidity gives way to the afternoon storms. Much like today, any one of those storms could have some gusty wind. Rain chances dip over the weekend, and that means it's going to be all about the heat with afternoon highs both days back into the 90s yet again. So if you plan on being outside, even if it's by a pool, make sure you're protected from the heat. Lower 90s, stick around right through the middle to end of next week. I really don't see a break in the heat. Tropical Storm Gonzalo is still in the central Atlantic, trying to get its act together. It's got a lot of headwinds, but it is forecast to become a hurricane during the day tomorrow. Move toward the, the, low, the southern part of the, uh, the Windward Islands and then eventually into the Caribbean as we head through the weekend and into the early part of next week. Still holding on to Tropical Storm status. Closer to home, Tropical Depression 8 is on the verge of becoming Tropical Storm Hannah. That's in the central Gulf. It poses no threat to us either. It is going to be pushing into Texas as we head into the weekend and then eventually into Old Mexico. So again, no big issue for us other than the heat. Have a good evening.